Hello, Doug. And Molly, is it? Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a nurse here at the hospital. I work with your cardiologist and uh, with the heart failure team. So I've just spoken with your doctor and uh, he said you were admitted a few days ago because you were feeling unwell. Can you just tell me a bit about what happened to you to bring you into hospital? Well, I was, um, I was pretty short of breath. My legs were all swollen up mm -hmm. and I just felt bloated. It had been coming on for a while. I thought it was bronchitis from the flu I had a couple of weeks ago. But then I got really crook. Didn't know if I was going to make it or not. <laughs> had to get the wife to ring for an ambulance, didn't I, love? Yes, I rang for the ambulance. Doug was having a lot of trouble breathing. He'd been a bit unwell for a few days. Then he got much worse. He really picked up after they put him on that drip, you know. <laughs> That's great. Um, Doug, can you just tell me um, what you understand is happening with your heart at the moment? Well, from what the doctor said, my heart isn't pumping as well as it should be. Yeah, that's exactly right. So um, the, the term that we use to describe when a heart isn't pumping as well as it should is heart failure. Now, heart failure is a, is a chronic and ongoing condition where the heart muscle is weakened, so it's just not able to pump as well as it normally does. But the good thing about heart failure is uh, we can manage it effectively. So to do that, we want to work in partnership with you. So we're going to work together, that sounds good to me. Yeah, so there are some things that uh, we can do to help you manage your heart failure, um, such as keeping a close eye on you, uh, making sure you've got the right medicines. Uh, we can also organise any tests or procedures that you'll need. And then there are some things that you can do to keep yourself well. Okay. What do I have to do? Well, your part in the partnership is to um, just monitor your symptoms carefully uh -huh. and to follow the self-care uh, steps that I'm going to take you through now. Uh -huh. So you mean I have to start looking after myself? Yeah, that's exactly right. So um, look, we know when people are able to manage their heart failure by um, following the self-care activities regularly, we know that their symptoms improve, um, they, have, uh, they feel well for longer periods, they reduce their risk of being admitted to hospital and they live longer. So I'm going to give you this uh, folder. This has got uh, a booklet in here which has got uh, a lot of information on looking after yourself and I'm going to explain all about the self-care steps now with you and your wife. Okay? Good, good, thanks. Good. Sarah has explained what heart failure is and the role of the heart failure nurse. Now we'll see Doug return home to put into practice the self-care activities he's learnt.